I keep my music minimal and pure because my life here in this cave is so minimal and pure. I don't have a very disciplined routine. I, I get up when it pleases me. I go to sleep when I want to. Um, I, I, I have time to be with nature and go swimming and um, clean up any avalanches that might have happened um, through the night. Um, I do my best to, to live off the land. Um, I um, collect um, sort of seeds and berries when they're in season. Um, I go spear fishing. I pick wild mussels off the rocks. Uh, I boil sea slugs. Um, the other day I managed to um, capture a seagull and I roasted it over the fire and, um, and ate it. Um, I've fought hard to make this cave my home. Um, you know, um, I, I used to have a problem with bats and, um, and I, I was having to share it with numbats and wombats were making incursions but I, I threw a, a rock at a numbat that came in here. So I don't have those problems anymore. I'm actually not a... a um, an equatorial artist anymore. I'm not even a post-equatorial artist. Uh, I'm, I've actually shifted the whole paradigm towards being antediluvial. The people who say that I've I've given up in um, hanging up my stilts, they can just go and hang themselves. I I don't have an obligation to anybody at a creative level. I just do what I please. I go with the the flow. <laughs> Often I will sit in silence for uh, up to an hour before I make my first note. And then it is like the break of dawn, it is like the first bird of the morning singing. The, uh, the note pierces the air and I know where to go from there. And I, I go on some fantastic journeys with my music.